As a reviewer, there are a lot of watches that I really wouldn't wear, but that I really like and really want to review because they're unique and because they're different. And especially when it comes to the micro brand space, this watch, the Wilhelm Prison, fits into that perfectly. Now this admittedly is not a watch that I would wear on a regular basis at all whatsoever. With that said, the design is extremely unique. It is very cool. It is very fun. And these are the types of watches that do get me excited. Now, I know that probably sounds a little strange. Why is a watch that you're not going to really wear get you excited? Well, because I'm a reviewer. And I come at watches and I come at the reviews a little different than maybe, you know, everybody else does because this is my job. I'm here to review this piece and, you know, let you decide if it's something that you want to buy or not. But with this specific watch, now, for those of you not familiar, this does take inspiration from the Bulgari Octo, but it is not... You know, it is the best form of an homage, if you will, because it takes inspiration without directly copying it, and it has a lot of its own touches to this, mostly with all the angles of the case and the way you see those lines that go right through the top of that brushed bezel, as you can see. Of course, the dial is very different as well. Now, before I get into the specifications, if you're not familiar with Wilhelm watches, they are loosely partnered with Elshan from Zelos Watches. If you're not familiar, Zelos and Elshan specifically from Zelos has his hands in a lot of the micro brand watch space these days. And Wilhelm has been around for a few years. I reviewed their first watch, the Elemental, oh, I think it was almost four years ago, 2017, 2018. Uh, you could always search that up and find that on the channel. Very different looking watch from this, but it still has that same design ethos that they have. They're outside the box. Their watches are not the norm. They are not your typical everyday piece. They're not a pilot. They're not a dive watch. They're their own thing. Much like I said, that Bulgari Octo, which is a very different style of watch, this is as well. Now, your full specifications and your price is as follows. The retail price on this is $999. Now, this actually did go on Kickstarter last year. And as you know, with Kickstarter, it was much, much, much cheaper. But if you want one now, brand new, $999 is your price. And unfortunately, at this time, this blue dial and I believe the gray dial are on back order. Now, I'm not sure exactly what that means. I don't know when he's going to get more stock on these. There is a red dial available, and I'm not sure the status of the skeletonized dial because there's a fully skeletonized dial of this version uh, of this watch as well, but that's a little bit more expensive. So, uh, I'm not sure when these are going to come back in. This is what happens sometimes. You know, I get a watch in for review. Uh, you know, it's not like I'm purposely not getting it done, but there's other watches that need to be done before this. And sometimes by the time that I get to the review, they are sold out. But you can still buy the red one, so they're not completely sold out. And, you know, I'm sure he will get more stock. It doesn't say these are discontinued or no more stock uh, will ever be available. They're just on back order for the time being. So what do you get for your $999? Well, this is an all titanium case and bracelet. It is a grade two titanium case and bracelet. And as you could see, especially as I you know, showed to you here on camera, you could see, especially with the bracelet, how there is the all brushed and sandblasted inset inside those links of those big U-shape end links and everything. So a lot of attention to detail here with regards to the finishing of the titanium case and bracelet. You're looking at a 40 millimeter case. And I know some of you may have saw this watch online and thought that it was a very large watch, but it actually is only 40 millimeters and is only 45 millimeters lug to lug. So very short lug to lug case here. 22 millimeter lugs and the bracelet tapers to 20 millimeters, 12 millimeters thick. It weighs on the bracelet 128 grams. It of course does have a sapphire crystal front and back screw down crown, 
100 meters water resistant, and your movement is the Salida SW200. Now, looking at this watch as a whole, I really like a lot of elements of this piece, and there is so much that I want to discuss and talk to. But as you know, I don't like to make these videos, you know, 20 minutes long. And as usual, there will be a full write-up at watchreport.com, and the link will be down in the description below. So what I really want to do, of course, is show you this watch and, of course, talk about what I really like. So let's start with the articulation of the bracelet because I think that is one of the nicest features of this watch. Uh, of course, being titanium, it's going to be very lightweight and going to be very comfortable. And that 40 by 45 millimeter uh, dimensions is going to make it very wearable for a lot of people and especially for people that have smaller wrists. Now it is a deployant clasp. You could see the little Spartan logo on there. That is the Wilhelm logo on the clasp under, um, excuse me, on top, right by the uh, push buttons there. And you can see how articulated and fully articulated the links are in this bracelet. And what that allows it to do, especially from the lugs, those hooded lugs, is it allows it to drop down immediately. So that way it drapes very comfortably on your wrist. I wish more companies would pay attention when they are designing watches to have that feature. You know, some watches, the lugs come out so far and then the way the end link is designed and it jets out even further and it just makes for a very uncomfortable piece. And after all, these are wrist watches. They're meant to be worn. They should be comfortable. The second thing I really love here is going to be a strap. Yes, you get a rubber strap and not just any rubber strap. This is not an isoprene lookalike strap or you know some BC off the shelf strap. This is a custom molded rubber strap. You got a bunch of little vent holes in it at the top here. It is super supple, barely smells of vanilla, which in my opinion is a very good thing. And overall has a nice attractive design with a custom, uh, custom buckle as well. Now for me, if I was to wear this watch on a regular basis or on a semi-regular basis, whatever, I would be wearing it on the rubber strap. One, I just think this rubber strap is just so damn comfortable and because while i like the look of the design of this bracelet i like it more from afar meaning i love the design because it's it flows it's artistic and it just has a cool funky look but i'm just not all about that cool and funky when it comes to wristwatches on my wrist and so if i was going to wear this particular watch i'd be doing it on the rubber strap the dial here is very three-dimensional and you'll notice there is a lot going on with the dial. You have the darker blue in the middle, it gets lighter blue on the outside. Um, it has just so much going on with this. Um, and I actually said that backwards, by the way, it's lighter blue in the middle and gets darker as it goes towards the edge of the dial. But you'll notice the way the cutouts are for the markers there. And then you have those applied markers, all chrome and high polished and finish. And if you notice, most of the entire case is all brushed. It's very vertical brushed, but then there's sandblasting on the sides. And then those lines that run through the bezel, they almost have just a slight, there's not a polish on it, but it's almost just a little chamfer to give that little bit of uh I don't want to say bling to it, but just, just a little bit of that. And then when you get to the dial, that's where it comes out and it's a little more flashy, if you will, with those applied chrome markers. And then of course you have that applied chrome Wilhelm uh, Spartan helmet. And my favorite date placement is down at the six o'clock position. It just love this dial. It's simple and clean. And one thing that you're going to notice is there's only two lines of text on the dial. As a matter of fact, when you turn this watch over, you're not gonna find any text on the case back at all either, except for the rotor, which just says uh, how many joules and everything in it, and that has the Spartan logo. So there's no text on the back here either, so you don't have to worry. You know when you look at the website and the information that you get in the box that it's 100 meters water resistant and the movement and everything else. It's not splattered all over the dial and all over the case back of this watch. Now when it comes to the case back, 
Obviously, this to me is very cool. You have the prism case back. It is a exhibition case back, sapphire crystal there, and you have a nice cool design that is etched into the case back, the titanium case back. But what is neat to me is, yes, that is a prism, but if you're a fan of the Avengers movies, obviously you think of Iron Man. And what, I don't know if they have plans to do this or if they're allowed to do it. Obviously they wouldn't have, to, they wouldn't be able to call it Iron Man or anything related to Iron Man in any way. But man, I thought, you know, they have this deep red dial. And I thought, man, if you do a gold plated version of this, and then you have that prism on the back, like Tony Stark has in the Iron Man suit, I don't know. That would be really over the top and really flashy as well. And that gold tone like that, especially with the red dial. But uh, I'm sure there's some people out there that would like it. And uh, it would be pretty cool. You do have that SW200 movement. This one is keeping time very well, very well in spec of the SW200 movement itself. And surprisingly, the loom is pretty good on it as well as you've seen throughout the video on screen. Pretty decent loom. Again, it is, you know, it is not going to light up a room and this is not a dive watch, nor is it intended to be, but the loom is more than sufficient and, you know, you'll be able to see it in the dark, no problem, at least for a few hours. If you want to see more about this, as I said, I have a full review at watchreport.com, so I'll have a link in the description below. As you saw, it comes in a nice, big, huge uh, steel box and everything. You're getting the bracelet, you're getting that custom rubber strap, and it is a unique design. Now, as I said at the beginning of this video, this is not the type of watch for me. It is not something that I would wear uh, on a regular basis at all, or even on a semi-regular basis, but I just love the design. I love that it's unique, and I love that it is something different, uh, especially, you know, in this sea of micro brand world that we're living in now, where everything starts to look, you know, so similar and so same, and so many brands are using the same case and the same bracelets. It is nice and refreshing to see something different. So I wanna know from you guys, is this something that you would wear? Is this something that you're now interested in buying after seeing it? Or is this just something you're like me? That is not for me. I can appreciate it, but I would never wear it. Let me know down in the comment section below. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you on the next one.